Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at opening a whole series of images that are all the same size, cropping them and then saving them out of Photoshop and doing it the most efficient way. So with these images, I have some 12 by 12 scrapbook paper images. What I want to do is crop them to screen size because I want to use them to advertise my new class, but whatever you crop them for is up to you. But then I want to save the images out. So it's just a perfect example of trying to automate this system to be as efficient as possible. So I'm going to choose file and then I'm going to choose scripts and I'm going to choose load files into stack because this gives me a method of loading all 12 starter images in as layers inside a file. So I'm just going to click on that option. I'm going to choose files and I'm going to browse because I want to go and find all the images on my computer. And here they are in a folder. So these are all the 12 sheets of scrapbook paper. They're all the same size. I'll click OK. Now I'm going to disable the options down here because I don't want to line these up. They're not actually in a stack for any reason other than being a really easy way of putting them all into a document. I'll click OK. And Photoshop's going to open and open every single one of these files into a layer. So if I open up my layers panel here, you'll see that the files are now open and every single one of these JPEG images has gone on to a separate layer and there are 12 of them. Now these sheets of paper at the moment are 3600 by 3600 in size. I want to crop them to a 19 by 20 ratio. So I'm going to select the crop tool. So I'm just going to click on the crop tool. I've already set the ratio, so let me just clear this. I'm going to ratio and I'm going to set them to a 1920 by 1080 ratio. I don't want to actually crop a piece that's 1920 by 1080 because I just want the images to look like they have this chevron at this size. So I'm just going to click here on the check mark. I have delete cropped pixels selected. So I'm just going to click on that. Now, if I want to size them down to exactly 1920 by 1080, I'm just going to image and then image size. And here I'm going to size them back down again. So I'm going to type in 1920 by 1080 and I'll be reducing them so I'm going to set the resampling to by cubic sharper and I'll just click OK. So now these are my sheets of paper or these are my images that I want to save. They're all 1920 by 1080 and they're all on separate layers here. So what I'm going to do is choose file and then export and then layers to files. So here I can select my destination. I want to put them in the same folder that they came from. So I'm just going to put them here into my Chevron Patterns folder. I can give them a file name prefix. So I'm going to call them Chevron 1920 by 1080. And then they're going to get a number. And I want them all to be JPEG images. And I want them to be reasonable quality, not super high quality. So I'm going to choose quality 10. I'm embedding the ICC profile so they'll take that with them. I'm not choosing visible layers only but you could if you only wanted to export visible layers and I'm just going to click run. And Photoshop has gone ahead and it's just exported every single one of these layers to a file. So I'm here in that folder. Let's just view the folder at large icon size. And here are my 12 images at 1920 by 1080. Each one of them is the correct size. They've been cropped out of these larger images. So that's a very simple way of opening a series of files that in this case are all the same size, cropping them and sizing them all to the same size, and then exporting them out as, for example, JPEG images just means that I'm not doing it 12 times, I'm just doing it once and Photoshop's doing all the heavy lifting for me. Before we finish up here, I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. 
Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.